Hello everyone! Welcome on into the stream. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all doing well. I'm getting used to the, the stream deck being over here now, so I'm actually much more smoother with those transitions. Hell yeah! Welcome on in everyone! Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna go for engulfing lightning if I go on the weapon banner, but I probably won't this time because there's nothing I want on there. So, yeah. Yo! Yo, Naya Zelda, thank you so much for the sub with Prime Gaming. Let's go. Thank you so much. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. And Rain, with the 10 months of sub love, thank you so much. Are my notifications still broken? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jesus. I thought I fixed that. Oh, I don't know. Can you guys hear it? I can't hear it on my end. But I still need to look into that. I forgot to do that. But thank you everyone for the subs. Naya, Zelda, and Rain, thank you so, so much. Okay, you guys can hear it. I just can't hear it. That is so weird. Um, I don't know why it does that. I thought I fixed that. And Hyun, welcome on in as well. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think uh, microphone's working. You can hear it? Okay, okay. That's weird. That's weird. I don't know why I can't hear it. Is it... Is it because it's like... I don't want to do this for too long. I don't want to, like, do some technical work with you. Oh, is it because of the monitor off? Monitor and output. Maybe that'll do it. All right. Well, we'll see when we get another alert. But yeah, welcome on in, Zelda. Welcome on in, Rain. Welcome on in, Hyun. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all doing well. Are we ready to get Chevra's? Are we ready? She is here. Look at her. We're going to do some trial runs first, of course. We're going to do our trial runs to get our 40 extra primos and some other stuff. And wait for some other people to come in. And we got Hype Train going. But you guys are amazing. I think this is like the second streamer in a row or something. Where I just have a Hype Train like right off the bat. You guys are crazy. I love you. I love you guys. You're so amazing. Alright. Come on, Raiden. Let's go. Oh, this Raiden's pretty dang good. This Raiden's pretty dang good. This Raiden's pretty dang good. start another cycle am i going for one chevers or multiple probably just one because i don't really want to get a five star in this but i mean if her constellations are really good then i might be tempted i might be tempted but for now the plan is to just go for one my speakers are low because yeah, i want to be saving up for other future five star characters i want xian yun I want her, and whenever, whenever Shiori and Arlequino become playable, I'm looking, I'm so looking forward to those two. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. We got Yoimi on the trial as well, what did they have for a trial this time? Okay, good, good. They have Shimanawa on her. <laughs> In one of her story quests, they actually just have Noblis on her, which is just ridiculous. But they did good with this, they have Shimanawa. I think I have her weapon, don't I? Pretty sure. Maybe I'll need to build her again. That would be a good idea. I need to learn how to learn Yun Jin too, because I do not use her at all, and I've heard she's pretty good. She's a good, like, she's normal attack buff, right? Normal attack? I think that's right. Jeez, Yuemiya, you're good. Look at that babe damage. Come on, hit him in the eye. Give me, give me that back. Don't hit me. <laughs> Look at him just running. He's just running at us in the in the last frame. That's funny. That's funny. Incoming ad break. I'll snooze that. All right. That's you and Mia, and now we get the try Chevros. We get the trier. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for her. I've been waiting for so long. So cool! Let's go, okay. It makes sense, we got Electro and Pyro on the team here. Official out. Oh, she's so fun. Get Toma Shield going, get Lisa going. I don't know exactly how to use her yet, but I'll learn. Does she have like an aim? She does! PPU. Toma, Lisa. Uh, 
gotta wait for her skill and then just ooh. nice i like her she's fun probably gonna team her up with my ride and i feel like that'd be a good thing All right. She is really cool. Matt. All right. We gotta try Hujo, Sara, and Bennett, and then we get to the Bulls. We get to the Bulls. I'm making you wait. Ha ha ha. All right. Barbara, Zhongling. Come a little closer. Lisa. Oh, nice. It's been a while since I've used Sarah. I haven't really used her since Raiden came out, honestly. Oh my god. I had such bad luck with Sarah when she first came out. It took me 120 pulls to get her. Like, I got Raiden before I got Sarah. I was like, are you kidding me? I think I, think I only just have her at C1 now. And it's been, like, two years since she's been out. I don't know. Did I just... Oopsies. I'll have to check that. Anyways, Bennett, I have his C6. <laughs> Alright. Bennett, Bennett, Bennett. And that... Lisa burst, then and it burst. And that should be it. So there we go. All the test runs are done. Using Sapwood Blade in there, I have no idea if that's good on him. <laughs> I forget I forget what that even does. I'm excited for pulls. Me too! I'm so excited. We're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna get her. Hopefully nice and early. That's for the banner to wish on. I use Raiden more. What's her C1? Okay, gather resolve even faster. Nice. And what's Yoimi as C1? I don't use Yoimi as often, so this is just in case. Um okay. So we're going to go for her on Ryan's banner. I'm going to do 10 pulls because I just like 10 pulls. Um, but yeah, here we go. May you get her in a single pull? Let's hope so. All right, here we go. <laughs> I got her in a single. I got her in a single pull. Literally the first pull. I didn't even need to do 10. That is hilarious. Oh my, you literally predicted it. You literally predicted it. Oh my god. <laughs> I can get it. There's another four star because she was my first one. I do have another four star after that. So I just want to see if I get a second one of her now. I got Bennett. That's all right. Um, but oh my god. That is hilarious. <laughs> literally the first wish. And we already got her. There's so many characters in this game now. There she is! I have no idea how to build her. I should have looked that up before. Um, but I do have plenty of materials to level her up. So, oh, I love this new screen. I love this new screen. It's so much better, isn't it? The new leveling up screens are so much better. Thank you, Genshin. Thank you. I have all her materials to get her up to 90 already because I'm insane. So we're going to do that now. Oh, look at her idol. She's eating the food. And we're literally going to get her birthday mail today, too. Because her birthday is uh, the 10th, I believe, of January. So, <laughs> I don't even have to go cook her signature dish. I'm just going to get it tonight. So sweet. She's in mood. Snacks and guns. <laughs> America moment. <laughs> All right, there we go. She is level 90. Let's go. We get three free standard wishes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at her. Oh, she's been. Yes, food. 
Um, weapon, I have no idea what weapon is good. Um, but I also have enough materials to level up for talents, because of course I do. Um, so let's do that real quick. Also finish Sorus's quest. Awesome, Rain! Let's go! It's about time. It's been like a year. <laughs> I hope you had fun with that quest. I saw you posting the picture of the Pari, and you're like, look at how cute they are, and they are adorable. They are adorable little dudes. The lore behind that is so interesting, behind the origin of the Pari, because they're technically born from three gods, because, of course, the Harvest Stockham was created by Rukadavada out of um, the Amrita, which was Agiria. She created that, so it's Agiria's consciousness created by Rukadavada, so used Rukadavada's power, which was later saved by Samurg, who was created by Nabu Malikatsa, the goddess of flowers. So it's like three goddesses all in one. It's crazy. And they're just they're just they're the remnants of that. It's it's crazy. I love it. I love crazy little lore like that. Alright, and then one more. Also, I'm very proud of myself because it's only Tuesday. And I've already planned, wrote, um, recorded, and wrote the pre-edits down for next week's videos. Two videos next week. Two videos. I've already done most of the stuff. Tomorrow I'll be done. I just need to edit them together tomorrow. So, that is awesome. Getting stuff done nice and early. Um, we also have Battle Pass stuff. What did we get? Oh, that was probably the domain stuff. Um, and then we also got our three standard wishes, so let's do this those real quick. Will we get anything? Probably not, but we can hope. Crash. Anything on this one? Nope. And anything on the last one? Nope. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> I don't even know. What, what's my standard banner pity? Let's see. I think I got something quite recently. I got a Lisa recently. That's good. I didn't see if there's anything down there. Another cool steal. When was my last five star on the standard banner? It was Diluc, which adding the ones now, it's 52. Okay, so I'm getting pretty close, so. A few new characters, a few months. I'll get there. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go condense the resin down I have now so I can pre farm for Chian Yun and Gaming tomorrow. And then. We're gonna do Lost Riches. Get ourselves a little sealy thing. I already got the treasure seeking sealy. I already did the quest to start it. I just need to actually do the treasure hunting. Because I couldn't do the um uh Roses and Muskets event on stream, unfortunately, because I literally did not get sleep the night before. Um, so I wanted to make sure I did Lost Riches on stream, and that's what we are going to do today. So we are going to start. At the west slopes of Mount Auto Atomnequi. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. Let's go there. Let us go. Let us sing, let us sing. Let us sing, let us sing. Alright. I miss this one. Look at these. Adorable. Alright, there's a thing down here. Apparently, according to the map. Look how cute. Oh, I love him so much. Okay, what's this? Is this the thing? Oh, this is a... Is this a sitting spot? Oh. Oh, this would be a good place to have a video opener, wouldn't it? I'd, I'd need to destroy that bush when I did it, but oh, that'd be good. That'd be good. I might do that for one of the videos next week. We'll see. We shall see. Got a video about Fontaine and a video about Natlin next week, so I'm excited. All right. And then something here. All right, located a treasure area. There is a treasure area down here. Trying to open a uh, bottle with my roommate. Did we get her? Yes, we did. Literally the first pull. Um, Hyun called it. Hyun absolutely called it. Um, we got her first pull. I did a 10 pull and she was the first of the 10, which was just absolutely crazy. <laughs> so I was afraid I might accidentally get a five star, but did it not have to worry. But we got her. I do need to add her to my friendship team. That's right. Sorry, Farina. You gotta go. I'm sorry. I love you, Farina, but it's Chevrous time. Armed and ready. 
I need to get her artifacts and weapon and everything though, so I mean like <laughs> Natlin video OMG. I know I'm so excited to do another Natlin video. I did one recently and like before I took my two month break and then it was like, hey, we're gonna give you more information about Natlin because it's the end of Fontaine quest. So obviously I need to make another one. I guess I have to go down here. But yeah, so we're gonna be doing that. More talk about Natlin, Harbingers, weekly bosses, bunch of other stuff like that. It's gonna be fun. Um help him buried into a blizzard who takes out the streets. Oh no, did you get a lot of snow? Oh no, I hope you're alright. We only got a little bit here. We only got just a little bit here. But I hope you're doing alright. Hope everyone's okay. Nice, yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Oh wait, you're talking about the pulls. Never mind, I'm going crazy. Yeah, the pulls were insane. I was like, okay. How do, how do we where's the energy for this one? Am I blind? Do I need to defeat these guys? Oh, I need to defeat these guys. Okay. I'm lagging a little bit. What the hell? How does that happen? Oh, geez. 130. Navia, I love you. You're amazing. Oh, so they drop it, and I just have to pick it up. There we go. Never seen snow in my life. A blizzard sounds scary. I mean, it can be, especially when your power goes out and everything, but honestly, I more think they're fun. Are we going underwater? This is awesome. Wait, this is going to be so cool. Yeah, I, I definitely, I pref I like snowstorms, but like, then again, I don't like shoveling. I mean, I'm lucky here. Oh, whoa. I guess it's becoming night right now. That is beautiful. Um... When a mist bubble obstructs the path of a treasure, you can seal it to the energy it needs. You must complete a challenge. Okay. Uh, you can use Funtimer Aberrants. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, yeah, this is okay. We get There's stuff. Okay. I'm going to take you. But, yeah, blizzards are fun because you get to stay inside, be all cuddly and everything. But, yeah, shoveling is not. And losing power is not. Oh, I have to start the challenge. Okay. Now I get it. And then I need to... I missed. And then... Those three. Okay. And then those in the middle. And those up there. And down there, and of course, the last one for here. Battles with Blizzard is so good. It's true. It is so good. It is so, so good. Especially, we have we have this place. I don't know if some of you guys might not know about this. We have a place called Dairy Queen in, um, in the U.S. And they have a certain... Oh, I, I keep doing that. They have a certain type of ice cream called a Blizzard. And my mom always gets us blizzards during the blizzard. So, that's really fun. Also nice. Oh, I missed one. And then... Nice. That one. Dairy Queen, now I'm hungry. I know! <laughs> I kind of want some Dairy Queen right now, too. I think my mom's home from the hospital. Um, Give me, like, one minute. Let me say hi to my mom because she's been in the hospital for a few days. So I will be right back. Uh, sorry about the break, but I, I'll, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. My mom's doing well. She's doing well. I will not describe why she was in the hospital. You guys do not want to hear that. Um, trust me. 
But yeah, we're back. We are back. Alright. So defeat all the monsters. Okay. Take them down just like a little slices. Alright. So the treasure is over this way. Then lunch? Hell yeah. I need to get some lunch. I still haven't eaten because I was uh, writing and recording all this morning. And that's alright though. Oh, is that it for this area? Just one? Okay. Alright. Fontaine Research Institute of Kinetic Energy. You know what that is. We all know what that is. The Fontaine Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering. Oh, uh, yeah. That's going to be in a video. Actually, that's going to be featured in a video this week on Friday. Because I did a seven wonders, a second Seven Wonders video for Fontaine, of course. East Fontaine, which is focusing on 4.1 and 4.2 stuff. So yes, this is going to be in it. So don't worry, I didn't forget the floating water cubes. It's going to be there. You get Blizzard tonight if you want to. Kind of in the mood for one now. So that would be a lot of fun, actually. Might have to do that. Might have to pick some up. I haven't had a Blizzard in a while. Alright, where is that one? I see him. I see him. He's hiding in the corner over there. He's hiding in the corner over there. Oh, see? Am I blind? Yes, I am. He's there. Alright, next one is nearby tree i love dairy queen's ice cream cake oh i get that like almost every year for my birthday it's so good it's so so good i love it so much oh hello my friends Stop right there. I, I still need to put chevrous as artifacts i need to get proper artifacts for her but for now this works yeah, I'm doing with Chevrous now. I have a team that doubles for both Chevrous and Navia. That works really well for both of them, I think. Because we got the Overload for Chevrous with her and Raiden, and then we got Geo Resonance with Navia with her and Zhongli. So I think that's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Gonna go for a bit, got something to do, so I'll be back later if you're still live by then. Okay, have fun, Rain. I shouldn't be live for too much longer. Um, I'm just doing this event. I was going to do the Abyss today, but I still got more stuff to do, so I think I'm going to save that for a stream on Thursday. I think that's when we'll do the Abyss, and maybe some other stuff. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I still want to do some Serenity Teapot stuff. I still got some stuff to do there, so we shall see. All right. Oh. And I'm just going to fly around, I guess. That is that is a beautiful view. Did I see the uh, Zhongli Bronze music video? I saw it got posted in the Discord. I haven't gotten the chance to check it out yet, but I definitely will after stream. When I saw the notification that someone posted in the Discord, I couldn't watch it at the moment because I was in the middle of recording my voiceovers for next week's videos, but I definitely want to see it. Because it's Zhongli. I love Zhongli. He's my boy. He's, he's on my team. I love him. And he's mine. You guys can't have him. He's mine. <laughs> I was joking with some... We were joking with some lore friends last night. Um, about... How, like, a lot of us have a character that we act as, like, I'm Zhang Li... And Clementine's Kazua and all that. And we were like doing stuff like, oh yeah, like I I don't I don't know what you guys are talking about. Anyways, where's my Osmanthus wine? Like where is it at? It's making fun jokes like that. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, all I'm saying is, you guys have never seen me and Zhongli in the same room before, have you? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It might have been you shared it when you woke up. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't I didn't see who sent it, but it could have been you. I will definitely check it out after the stream, though. Alright, where are we going now? Oh, there's a world... Oh, that's a Fortress of Meripede quest, isn't it? It's up there. Okay. I see it. I see it. I see you. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. You know what event I really want them to bring back soon? Wind Trace. We haven't had Wind Trace in so long. I'm like, 
some co-op events are fine, but some co-op events I'm like, give me now. Wind Trace is one that I want them to give me now. I miss it so much. What was the last one? I think it was like 3.3 when Wanderer and Faruzan first came out. I think that's when it was. So it's been like a year at this point. I want it back. I want it back, man. Maybe in Natlin, I don't want to wait that long. I want it now. <laughs> I mean, I do hope we get one in Natlin, like after Natlin releases with all the Natlin locations, but what is that? Oh, you have to pop it first. I see. Oh. Yeah, I can't wait for Lost Riches when we have all the nations out. We just go to get to go to. I'm not, not Lost Riches. I mean Lost Riches too. Um, Wind Trace. When we go to all the nations, it's gonna be so fun, isn't it? I love thinking about future nations. I mean, heck, I'm already planning an um, Natlin speculation mini series. Not for a few updates. Probably around the time of 4.5. Um, like how Fontaine one started in 3.5, but it's planned. It's in the works. With the light element, Celia, it's cute. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing that, too. I'm definitely going to be picking that one. I think I have... Which ones do I have? I think I have the purple and the green. Where are they? Am I blind? Yeah, I yeah, purple and green. Because I didn't get to do the first one. I only got to do the Inazuma and Sumeru one. 11 months? It's been 11 months since Wind Trace. Oh, my goodness. I want it... I want it now... Oh, or actually, yeah, give me that. I'll take that. I always run out of iron chunk when I'm doing Serena Teapot stuff. Because, like, I never farm for it. So that's actually good. That's good for me. I need that. All right. Got one. Next one is up there. I see it. I see you. I just realized, since Shevrus is here, it's three weeks until 4.4. And for those of you who know what's coming in 4.4, you know why I'm so excited for 4.4. Another test subject. Freeze. Only three weeks. One and a half weeks until I can talk about why I'm so excited, but... Yeah, Zhang Yun's one of the reasons. I'm so excited for Zhang Yun. She's gonna be so fun. Oh, come, Navia, why'd you do that? Anyway, there's the other big reason, something I've been really passionate about with my videos. <laughs> very, very excited. So I'm very excited for the live stream too. Up, oh, we gotta, we gotta run over this one. The other, the other, our lips are sealed, good sir. Thank you. I salute you. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I have been waiting since forever. Quite a long time. Not forever, but you know, it feels like forever. So man, I love this hat. My cousin made this hat for me for Christmas. Oh good. It's such a good hat. It's like I, I literally wear it all the time now. Literally all the time. I love it so much. I think I've talked about it in like in another stream already, but it just it's such a good hat. It's such a good hat. I'm just talking about a hat. I love it. Since forever, yeah, it feels like it. It does feel like it. Oh my god, I'm oh hey, rude, you Okay, fine. I'm shooting you. Look at Celestia up there. Love the lore on the Crown Finches? I haven't read the lore on the Crown Finches. Now I need to do that. Now I'm curious. Alright. Let's go read the lore on the Crown Finches. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it now. Alright. Uh, they'd be in this one. Uh, which one are the Crown Finches? Oh, here we go. Red Crown Finch. Um, small songbird commonly found in Fontaine that sings pleasant melodies. However, despite their good-natured and adorable facade, the red crown finches are extremely combative, sometimes acti actively and rashly attacking other birds in their vicinity. 
But while young and bare of feathers upon their crest, these birds are confused and ignorant, hollow of any bellicosity. As such, in folklore, the feathered crests of the red-crowned finches are a sign of courage, for only finches that have grown the feathers upon their crest can be seen as warriors that dare to defy fate itself. Why is it bringing up fate? Oh, interesting. It's bringing up fate. Does the other one do it too? A small songbird commonly found in Fontaine that sings pleasant memories. It is said that blue-crowned finches are very sensitive to the outside world, willing to abandon their nest and flee at the slightest whiff of trouble. As such, folklore describes their, these timid fit these timid finches at, as portents of disaster for when they begin to hardly flee that means ruination must not be too far behind and they're the car color of kaya and diluc that has to be intentional that has to be intentional it has to be there has to be some intentional thing behind that like hinting towards kaya running from conria or kai's dad running from conria and giving him to monstat and you know, Dilu getting his vision and all that and fighting with the animal Archon to save Duval and all that, but like in future stories too. If you think about it, Monstat was just the prologue of what we got of the story so far. It's the prologue. We're gonna go back to Monstat. 100%. We're gonna go back to Monstat. We're gonna get more lore, like Istaroth, everything. All that good, all that good stuff, all that jazz. 140k, and that was like barely charged. Navi, you're incredible. And if you think about it too, like mods that archon quest were like an hour and a half long, and Fontaines were just like, I think they were like 15 or something, 14 or 15. They was ridiculously long. Compared to Mondstadt. Okay, the waters of Erinius Forest. Okay. So yeah, it's gonna be. We're definitely going back to Mondstadt. Like I, I think I, I was talking about this in a stream, like uh, like last week. I think how I think that instead of going to Conria right after Shnishnaya, we'll be going back to the other nations, and there'll be something going on. Something in Shnishnaya will cause something to happen in all the other nations, causing us to have to revisit and, you know, figure out what's wrong. Um, especially since Conria's act number wasn't given. That's what I'm thinking. Alright. So what? Okay. I have a feeling Ludi will be when shit hits the fan after Snezhnaya. That would be interesting. Ludi hard past him, yeah. Like, we think things go right in Snezhnaya, and then we get to Ludi hard past him, like, oh, this is all peaceful, and then boom. Rut row, Raggy. That would be really fun. Like, we think everything's all right, and then it's not. All right, where's the next one? Down there yeah i definitely want to like revisit all the regions and stuff and at that point it'll give us time to like explore other areas that we didn't get to in the main archon quests like dornman port and um all those areas like that and maybe even like black cliff forge and Liyue, which is like south of what we have right now like areas that you know they didn't add before but now they'll have like time to add them and like we'll be going back to the regions anyway so it'll be like time before conria like the calm before the storm even though yeah the calm before the storm then boom conria just has to repeat yeah like something happens with the gnosis we think everything's fine and then like the heavenly principles wake up and start causing shit so that would be really interesting all these guys hello mr. crab I love this effect it's just pull 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 get a bit closer to this one 
Yeah, th things are gonna go insane. It's like, we're like half, what are we, like seven months away from Natlin right now? And like, like a year and a half out from Shnizhnaya? It's crazy how soon it's gonna, gonna be here. Crazy how soon it's all gonna go insane. Oh, I already finished it. Okay. All right. Epilogue. Well, the Gnosis are cursed. We don't really want them all in the same place. It's like the Cursed Rings and Lord of the Rings. True, yeah. Me who's never seen Lord of the Rings. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing from the basic concept. But yeah, I feel like having them together wouldn't be good. I feel like the Heavenly Principles would be like... Mm. Like, uh -oh, we can't be doing that. Uh-uh. I do want to make a theory video about what I think the origin of the Gnosis are. And what it actually has to do with Lumine. Or if you play as Lumine, Ether. I'll, I'll basically probably just say the sibling in the video, but I, I don't want to give away too much now, but yeah, I, ha I have some thoughts relating to, you know, the shades have something to do with it and Istaroth messing with time and all that, all that fun stuff. It's, it's going to be a fun concept to go over. All right, we got to exchange all these ancient iron coins. Let's get brilliance. We're getting the new one. We're getting the new boy. Look at him, I love him. And of course we got some precious treasures. We get more Primo gems, And we get more Heroes Wit. And we get... We actually, I need some of those, so actually that's good. Oh, we just... Oh, you get them all at once instead of just having to click it six times. I love that. Lord of the Rings took heavy inspiration from the Ring of Nibelung play. Interesting. And we know Nibelung's a character in Genshin already. I love this. I love talking about lore. Look at that little silly. Look at that little silly. Oh yeah. All right. Before we go, I do want to see how to build chevres properly. Uh, build. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Chevres rating and best builds. So she wants either Noblest or Song of Days Past. I actually have a lot of Song of Days Past, so that's good. Um, let's see. Black Black Tassel's her best weapon? That's a three star. Um, Favonius Lance is also good on her. So I'll take Yao Yao's Favonius Lance because that's actually done. Rightful Reward is also better, I think. Where is Rightful Reward? I have one, don't I? Yeah, but it's not leveled up. So I'm going to have to work on that. That's her weapon for now. Her artifacts, uh, set filter with Song of Days and Noblest to see what I have. Confirm filter. Okay, most of my Noblest is in use. So it might be best to just focus on Song of Days past. And apparently her substats, she wants HP and energy recharge mostly. So... Let's see what we got. I like that one. We'll do that one. Um, energy recharge, energy recharge, energy recharge. That one's double HP, so we'll take that. Um, then we want we want HP percent remain on here. Ooh, okay, that one's pretty good. So let's equip that. That's the only HP percent goblet we have, which is actually decently good for her. Um, and we'll do that one. Okay. So we'll just enhance all these real quick again. I love this new enhancement menu. It's so good. It went, into HP, it went into HP, went into attack. Went into crit damage, which can be decently good for her. We don't really need it for her, but we'll take it. Attack. And then the last level is always the slowest. And then more crit damage. Again, not needed, but it's nice to have. Nice to have.
Uh, three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for mortal men doomed to die, one for the Dark Lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie, one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them, in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. Uh, sorry, the ring verse a bit long. It's all right. Yeah, there's some interesting things. The Dwarf Lords, Archons, and the Elven Kings could be something related to Celestia. Interesting that there's four shades. Maybe the three kings are the first three descenders. The primordial one, the second who came, and whoever the third descender was. Could be. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've actually never watched lord of the rings well okay that's not entirely true i have watched part of lord of the rings but i haven't like actually watched the whole i'm getting so many double bonus enhancements on this one what the heck um but i haven't, I haven't watched the whole thing i i've watched on the way home from a field trip in eighth grade it was a long field trip um so we were on a bus ride my math teacher put on the Lord of the Rings, the first movie, and since it was like nighttime by the time we were heading home, I fell asleep, and I woke up, and it was the middle of the second movie, and the guy was getting like a sword pointed at him, and I was like, "What? Did, what did I miss?" Because like it, it went from like them being at the house or whatever to hello, I have a sword, and I was like, "What, what is happening? Oh, I am out of." Materials, okay. Um, what do I not need? I don't really need Lava Walker, do I? Or Thunder Soother. Also, you can do, like, up to 15 now, instead of just whatever it was before, which was, like, I think it was 6 before. So much better. So much better. I love it. Um, I'll keep my golden troop and my marchose. I don't really need any of those or those. So let's get rid of those. Welcome back, Rain. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I do actually, I do want to sit down and actually watch Lord of the Rings at some point, but... Right now, my only memory of it is just confusing. It's just really, really confusing. All right. Um, what else can I get rid of? I have a ton of these goblets. Uh, okay. Bit more. That one's pretty good. All right, so Chevreuse now has built artifacts. She has a weapon, so she is good. Of course, we don't have any of her constellation, unfortunately, but she's still pretty good. Crit rate crit damage isn't the best, but that's all right for her. We have a lot of energy recharge, a lot of HP. That's what we need on her. So there we go. Ready for Natlin? Ready for war? Ready for war? Let's go find something to test it out on. Let's go, let's go murder something. You guys ready to commit murder with me? Let's go. I'm becoming more and more unhinged as time goes on. Alright, let's do Raiden. Let's do shield it up. Nice. Yeah, she's definitely more of a support. Get the pyro application and then Raiden finish it off. But I think I like her. I'd have to learn more about how she works. I have to watch the collected Michelani and all that. But I like her, yeah. I like her. Yay, violence! We are ready! Oh gosh. Oh no. Uh-oh. Remember, I didn't tell you to. It wasn't me. You didn't hear it from me. Shh. Should be great for Naven Murata. I hope so, yeah. 
I'm really looking forward to the Nave. I can't wait till she's playable. I lost my 50-50 as a free-to-play. Oh no! Well, hopefully you get another 5-star like early on in the banner. I wish you luck, Bonnie. Still got 3 weeks left. Still got 3 weeks left. Look at the bright side. I wish you- I'm sending the luck your way. Send the luck your way. And range just like, yes, violence. I- 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 I wouldn't say I don't condone violence, I guess, if this game is literally about fighting. But, I mean, no real-life violence. Genshin violence, I mean, that's alright. But, no real-life violence. A Genshin gun. <laughs> You're guaranteed, though. Yeah, exactly. You're guaranteed. So you'll get, you'll get, um, hopefully you get an early 5-star. So, Yeah. Next 10 pull will be a 5-star. Hyun predicted me getting Chevreuse on my first pull today. So, I mean, I think they're right. I think they're right. I, th I, I, I think they're right, you know? Oh, yeah, Chevreuse still isn't in here yet because the America server doesn't have her yet. I think it's going to be at 7 o'clock tonight. Is it 7 o'clock or is it 6 o'clock now? It's daylight savings. I don't know. I don't know when this banner starts, so... Before his lantern, right? You get loads of primos and fates. Yeah, we're gonna get so much stuff. We're gonna get free 10 pull, and then we're gonna get free four star from Liu, uh, free gaming. We're gonna get uh, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff for lantern, right? Yeah, I'm definitely picking gaming to get the constellations up. I think one of my Yao Yao constellations, I forget because I think most of my Liu four stars are C6. I wish he already C6. My goodness. Okay. Let me go through all my Liu of four stars. Do I have any on my team? No. Uh, Liu of four stars. I'm pretty sure I have all of them C6 at this point. Yunjin. Yep. Ningguang. Yep. Changyun. Yep. Beidou. Yep. Yao Yao. Yep. Zingshou. Yep. Yanfei, yep. Uh, Xin Yan, yep. Uh, Zhang Ling, yep. So yeah, I'm going for gaming. Gaming, not game. <laughs> gaming, why did I say gaming? I've been so good about that. I just, how'd I do that? The gaming. And gaming. I think I did the same thing with Yaoyo last year. I picked her because I didn't have her at everyone else at C6. How did I get her C6 already? I don't even know. Probably like Baiji's banner or something. Um, which, no, Al Haytham's banner. Wasn't, was she on by? I don't think she's on by banner. But anyways, <laughs> that was pretty much all I wanted to do today. I got some stuff to do uh, this afternoon before I go over and see Rain. So that'll be all for me today. Thank you everyone for coming out for the pulls and for Lost Riches. I hope you guys had a lot of fun today. I'm um, going to be back on the stream on Thursday. We're going to be doing the Abyss runs and maybe some Serenity Pot stuff finally. And... Then Friday we'll have a new I'll have a new video out on my YouTube channel. Check it out right there. Um I have a new video, Seven Wonders video of East Fontaine, some more Fontaine stuff. And of course, if you haven't joined the Discord, we have lovely community over there, lovely, lovely people. And yeah, you should be a part of that. So thank you everyone for hanging out today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.